There's a growing trend globally where education is moving increasingly online and parents around the world are really concerned about the level of STEM education and the, the preparedness that their kids are going to have to move into a rapidly evolving work world. And Chris, at BSD, you're approaching this in partnership with schools. You've created an online education platform that's really helping improving student outcomes. And Timothy, you're addressing the broad question by way of tutors, aligned with schools as well, but helping students directly. Uh, so really different models, but you guys are both after the same objective of how do we really improve the quality of education. Uh, Timothy, I want to start with you. So quality has got to be a big issue. Uh, you've got tutors coming from all over the place. You've expanded the number of cities you're operating in. Um, how do you ensure the quality of the tutors? When students ask the question by just taking a, a simple snapshot on Snap Ask, uh, it gives very little information to the tutors on how should I start, how should I really teach them. So we want to make sure each, each tutor, they have a certain standard and level to at least understand the curriculum. That's why we vet them by their university transcripts and which university degree they're in. So that gives a certain level of confidence to not just the students, but the parents on who is actually teaching my kid and who is teaching me. So that's the first layer. And we also allow students to give reviews. And we, uh, in our operation team, we do a lot of uh, uh, sampling to actually understand how, this, how each question is going. Chris, teachers are getting just so many different things thrown at them from a technology standpoint and new ways of, of teaching. Do you have the same challenge there with quality? How do you ensure that teachers are really passing through the BSD program accurately? Really getting to the root of that long-term quality was first to say, how can we get you to a position where you feel confident to bring it into the classroom, that you feel like you're doing your duty as a, as a teacher, um, that you feel that you have the content and the materials, and that also that you have the not just the competency, but also the community to support you learning. Um, but now what we do is we, we really focus on getting teachers confident and able by uh, bringing them the, the technical skills that they yep. need, which only takes a couple of hours. You know, and then, but then also showing the teachers how the curriculum that they're going to use integrates within the context of what they teach. And you know, we don't seek to replace what they teach, but to enhance to offer them easy options to enhance. And that's the ultimate objective that both of you have in terms of improving student outcomes, imp improving student prospects. That's a challenge though in a world that's got such rapidly evolving technology. You're both using big data analytics uh, with the volume of information you're collecting with your respective platforms. Timothy, what do you think is the best use of uh, the data you've collected so far? So data we collect is very diverse. Uh, so first, we understand each question and each of the message during the interaction between the student and tutor. It actually gives us a lot of uh, data about what kind of topics they, they're learning, what kind of difficulties they have. And it also helps us to craft what is the best way to teach. How do students absorb data or absorb these knowledge, acquired knowledge, in the easiest way. So uh, we actually consolidate these learning data, we call it the learning analytics, and we package them and show them to educators. It actually helps them in school to actually pivot how we should teach better uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. And school budgets are constantly constrained, Chris, so you're working within always constraints in, in that regard, and I'm sure teachers would always like more, yep. <laughs> more and yep. more resources available. How does BSD size the product to make sure that you're getting that on objective while yeah. still recognizing the constraints that the education system has? Of course, I mean, we're a cloud platform. And so we can go to any school, anywhere, uh, any device, although we're primarily tablet and, and laptop focused. So the access to our platform is very, is very straightforward. We have schools that have had budget one year and not the other. And as an education company, you have a, respon you have a responsibility to education as well as a responsibility to try and make money and be profitable. What are the positive outcomes you've seen so far from your platforms? I know it's both relatively uh, early in the platform evolution, but what have you been able to see? I mean, we've seen with, with technology education coming in, we've seen schools, uh, some of our schools have increased their enrollment by over 20%. Um, we've had students who've taken their portfolios of work and actually been employed. And they've been able to kind of show the skills, but also explain to employers how they actually how those skills work in the real world and, and employers had a lot of confidence from that. And Timothy, similar uh, outputs? Yeah, so since we launched uh, SnapBask, uh, we have been going from just Hong Kong to over eight countries in Asia. Uh, so with over 1.2 million students on the platform, we see one thing very interesting. Uh, in the first year when we launched to a new country, uh, we want students to keep asking questions 
uh, without without uh, worrying how many quotas they have. So we want them to have unlimited access to tutors. So the average number of questions per month is only lower than 30 questions in the, in the first year when we launch. And now it's over 80 questions per month. It's actually showing a very interesting thing as in, uh, Asian students are perceived as not, not that well trained or encouraged to ask questions. But with a platform like SnapUs, we provide the right environment and the one-on-one -on -one experience for them that they actually know they are getting help the personalized way. So uh, it encourages them to ask more questions without, without any worries.